Welcome to hole number one of the Rewind 2023 tournament. Now, playing here from the front tee, I'm going to try to get to this little island as often as possible. If I have a headwind here, I would set up with a navigator and switch to a titan or switch to a zerk. Whatever it takes to get this ball green side or on the green here to get this must drop eagle. There certainly is layup options you could play to the right side but I strongly recommend you set up here on this little island. Katata in an extra mile on average. Three top, three left here at max with half the red ring in the left rough on the island. I am going to use, um, I was going to recommend that you use a little bit of curl here, um, but nonetheless, as long as you get this one safely into end bringer range, as we will easily do here, um, or onto the green to putt, then I think you're going to be in a very, very good position to start the tournament. Second shot here with the end bringer, of course, just giving you an idea of how close you really are here. Now, you know, you should stretch it out, follow the full end bringer method, just like this. Max out there. Now, I'm looking to see where the hole is along the line. This is like, I think, 40 or something percent here so we're going to change the slider now 20 percent uh then change that slider yeah down to 40 and then we'll pull the corresponding ring so i'm actually looking into making uh my own video for that end bringer school method let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea or not and hey i hope we're going to get a lot of drops here in the rewind 2023 tournament good luck everybody Okay, so hole number two, this first par three, as you can see, is a very good opportunity to get a hole in one. Lots of nice flat landing positions around this green, and there's also a nice rough bump opportunity there as well. I'm just playing two bars of backspin here and adjusting 0% mid-distance with this Navigator and a Goliath 6. Um, you really could do either way, whatever makes you happy. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could backspin some kind of shot onto the green, but, well, I mean, I think this is going to be one of those those holes where you know especially from the front tee once you find a consistent shot just kind of stick with it and you know tweak it up a little bit to suit your club level uh, and the ball that you choose to use but at the end of the day this is so straightforward it gives us a great look here uh east lake golf course i believe this one is and we're playing three different courses in this uh rewind to 2023 all right, so now over to the Sierra Plateau course for our first par five. Setting up on the left side here, you could try to reach all the way down there and send it real long if you want to use a power five in a tailwind. However, here in a more difficult wind situation, I'm going to give it four and a half top one bar of left spin. Now, remember, if you follow the same bounce off this little pad and you have a tailwind, you do want to reduce the amount of top spin. So in the note on the website, I'll have between two to four and a half bars of top spin here on this shot. Landing on that little pad, adjusting 10% max on the shot, and just gonna hit a straight clean shot. Speaking of the website, ehrlichgaming.com, you can download pro notes during the nine hole tournament and before every single tournament you can always get a set of rookie notes based on this video and that's where the varied top spin comes in here a little bit hot but you're always going to double check right second shot with the thorn as you can see we're right at the max line i pull it back a couple of rings here just so i have room to adjust uh, that would put us technically at like 90 percent slider or something but with such small values in pro or excuse me in rookie here with the wind being only 2.9 we're going to adjust instead of 10 percent we're going to play 20 percent max for this shot here uh 1.8 rings i believe here will be the adjustment and of course i used one bar of backspin one bar of left spin if you want to get a little further away from the bunker you could add a little more side spin to the shot um, just, you know, to keep it a little bit safer. But I try to hit perfect every single time, and I strongly recommend that you do too. This one here, again, lots of great opportunities. We had a couple of tough tournaments. I think this one is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so hold number four here. Once again, a very straightforward par three. This time, I elect to try the rough bump. Eight bars of top spin, one bar of right spin here with the Navigator Ball and the Goliath Club. You'll see with the level six, the ball guide is pretty darn good, and it gets us just to the hole. Top of the yellow ring at the top of the rough and about half that red ring dipping down into the bunker. Negative 10% max is how this shot plays in this wind. Remember, these videos, these shots will not work in every single tournament condition you will have to tweak those shots according to the wind conditions that you face in those situations so clean little bump nice roll give you a very good look at the pin all right so hole number five this is a short par five but it is filled with perils 
beware. Four and a half top, one left with the extra mile and the Zerk. Trying to get this one as close to the green as possible, but beware. This fairway rolls aggressively off to the right-hand side, and the, that water is certainly in play on the left-hand side with all the bunkers. Just whatever you do here, play safely. I push this one to max, and I think I'm going to give it no overpower here. You certainly could try um, a slower needle overpower shot here, but just be careful, careful, careful. So, like I said, four and a half top, one left here at max with half that red ring in the rough on the left hand side and as you can see half a ball or even a little bit of left curl would have been certainly in order here so second shot with the end bringer this is when you give yourself a very good look to get this drop now in the notes and, and again on the video i have 20 percent mid as the general adjustment here um, but in this situation we're actually playing the max number here Again, it depends on the club level. It depends on the distance of your drive. Uh, but just in general, you're playing that mid number off the slider with the end bringer. So whatever you do, try to hit perfect here. And if you get yourself a drop on hole number five, I think you're definitely going to put yourself ahead of the competition in many regards, especially in the rookie division here. So good luck. Hope you get those eagles. We'll see you on number six. Okay, hole number six here. We're really trying to get an albatross on the card. Setting up with the Titan ball and an extra mile. Only a level six here, but we're going to apply four and a half top. Two bars of left spin. And we're at max distance here with 90% of that red ring um, in the left rough. You'll notice here, we're going to adjust 10% max on the shot. And I will end up giving this one a little bit of circle break over power and outer wall left curl. Now, this looks like the kind of shot, if you have a decent enough level rock or Thor's hammer, or even a quarterback, and you think you want to play this shot um, with a little bit more accuracy, by all means, go ahead and do so. I think that'll put you in a very good position. However, this one here, I practiced and practiced and finally got one to go very, very nicely. So I think this is a very viable option. Just as long as you take your time, keep it in the middle of the fairway. Uh, and then you should give yourself a second shot. As you can see, there's more room to work with, but sometimes from the front tee, you got to take what you get. Second shot with the backbone here. I'm going to use about three and a half bars of backspin. We're going to have the bottom of that red ring touching that piece of wood. So I thought about bouncing over, but not much topspin here. And I often find shots like this, they'll come in a little bit fast. So I decide at the last minute here, you know what? We're going to put that red ring down we're gonna go with a little bit of backspin here instead so like i said about three and a half back there we go and we played this shot at 10 percent mid anytime you're using a level nine or a level 10 backbone uh and you don't know what to play try one to one i think you're gonna find you get a lot of really really good results here and this is just slightly less than two rings about 1.9 into the 2.3 wind. So yeah, one to one would have been a little over adjusted in this situation. Uh, but in many cases, you'll find that'll be your best friend here in the rookie division. So get it, get the Albie baby. That's what we need to take the gold. Okay, hole seven, this is an interesting par four. You'll notice we're very, very close to the green, but there's a very hazardous bunker right in front of it. So what I'm gonna do is give this one a little bit of backspin, about three bars of backspin, two bars of left spin, but I'm stretching it out until that second bounce is like two to three green squares onto the green. And so now when I was stretched out, you'll notice that I was stretched out two rings to the bottom of the red. So we make the 10% max adjustment here with a good wind. And now I'm going to push back up those two rings. So up two rings. Now that puts us a little bit at max, just a hair of overpower. So we're not really going to use too much at all because of the tailwind. This shot, you're going to have to play it different ways depending on the wind. Anywhere on the green is going to be a victory. Obviously, four, five bars of backspin there would have been nice. A little bit of curl, but we get the eagle and we move on to hole eight. Okay, so hole number eight, this is going to look familiar, uh, but I'm going to play it a little bit differently here. I'm using a no-move shot, and we're using four bars of backspin here with the Navigator and the Goliath. Basically, this is, I think, going to be the most consistent way to get it cleanly and safely down there. Um, again, we're going to have a really good memory of this hole because we just played it very recently uh, in a previous tournament. So if you know the wind from the previous tournament, tournament take a look at your notes and you know pull together that information but as a general rule into this kind of cross headwind tailwind of course you might want to use five to five and a half bars of backspin this will put us very very close give you a really nice look at it and definitely give you a shot that you can work with all right hole nine par five from the second and third tee i would recommend trying to send this one and getting it down there but in rookie here I found no matter what I did, even with the Zerg, I could not get it very close. Or I would get in the bunker, 
Give myself all sorts of trouble. Two top, two left with the quarterback at max. And notice the tip of the ball guide. It's like three rings from the left rough there. I'm going to just give this a clean 10% max adjustment. And we're going to lay up here for safety and to preserve the eagle here on this course. Lots of really good chances for drops. So I don't feel as pressured, as, as motivated to try to put ourselves in a crazy big topper, zerk, send it shot situation. Because it's not great odds as far as getting into a safe position position here so play around with it do what you got to do if you've got big top spin boost balls higher level apoc stuff like that by all means but if you're looking for a safe consistent play to get your eagle each and every time i highly recommend laying up here to the end of the first fairway second shot with the sniper i believe the shot that i play here in the video is going to be at 10 max maybe i'm wrong uh, but i think 15 max is going to put us in a good way towards the pin four bars of backspin and there was a little bit of left spin, but I decided against it for whatever reason. And as you can see, that white ring is just about touching the rough there. So yeah, 10 max. Oh no, I did play the 15. Yeah, 15 max. And I think this is gonna be a really fun tournament. I like how they've mixed up the courses. I think they did do a good job with the new courses last year. Seems to be very nice designs, lots of droppable shots, but some technical, technical holes as well. Guys, if you haven't yet hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to the channel, I appreciate the support. I love you all and wish you tons of luck in the Rewind 2023 tournament. And thank you so much for watching.